Hey guys, my name is Miska and welcome to Hitscan and we're looking at some abilities today from the workshop. There's quite a lot of interesting stuff in the workshop and I haven't covered things in a little while. Most of these things I'm mentioning in here are just codes that have been added the past month or so. So they're fairly new actually and I think most of you won't have seen this stuff. Let's get started. Some of these things are a little bit more silly than others. One of those is this first thing which is the Lucio Death Laser made by Battle Pants and you know a workshop code it's pretty intense when they've got a surfer load thing in the top left at all times. This is basically just the normal weapon for Lucio that is just turned up to 11. And as you can see, it creates kind of a laser style just beam almost. You can't really see it because it's going so fast, but you can see the impact of it on the wall. And it just completely shreds enemies. And the reason as to why I wanted to actually include this was because I think there's a lot of things like this and ways that you can make weapons and also especially beam weapons that could be very interesting that we haven't really seen in Overwatch that much. It also gets me more excited for a new hero having a potentially new style of weapon. I would love to see more beam weapons in Overwatch, especially if they can make them interesting with modifiers and things like that. Kind of like how Symmetra and Saria have beam weapons that also have abilities connected to them. Anyway, this next one is the main one for this video, as this includes a lot of abilities, or talents as you could call them. These are the Overwatch 2 talents translated into the workshop, so it's the best recreation possible, pretty much, of a lot of the Overwatch 2 talents. And there's many, many of them in this workshop code. So a big thanks to Bonkorn who made this, and I will definitely be crediting them in every way I can, but their thing is also on screen at the top right, they have this little sort of ad for their Discord in there. It's incredibly well made, we're starting up here with Reinhardt, you have the epicenter, which is the 360 degree earth shatter that we've seen from the trailer. We haven't actually been able to use that because that was not in the demo at BlizzCon, because that is an ability, or a talent rather, that you couldn't get yet, as it was sort of later into the talent tree. But here it is in action, you can see the effect of it as well, really cool, probably one of the most, like, well-made abilities from a perspective of having it be as closely represented to the real thing as possible. Next on Reinhardt as well, we have Fire Burst, which is basically an upgraded fire strike. It explodes every time it deals damage, lighting nearby enemies on fire, and it looks really good. The effect is just really cool, and honestly, this is kind of what Fire Strike should look like, in my opinion, normally. A lot of people have definitely had that idea of the Fire Strike actually lighting someone on fire as well, but I guess the Overwatch devs want to save that for a bit later. Don't want to change the current game too much when you're making a sequel. Anyway, moving forward, we have Genji's Dragon's Breath. This is also an Overwatch 2 ability, and obviously the visual effect can't be as well made as the actual Overwatch 2 one, because you can only do so much in the workshop, but this is still pretty well made, and it looks good, it works well. It's kind of as if you're shooting a green fire strike in a circle out of your weapon as you are slicing with the sword, and yeah, it just looks good, works well, pretty cool. We have a bunch of other ones as well. Next up here, you can see one for Winston. This is the electricity field. This is basically just an enemy walking into the barrier projector. Winston's bubble shield will take damage continuously from this sort of little electricity sort of, I, I don't know, beam that comes out of the actual barrier projector. And it looks good as well. I think this is also one of the cooler effects. I think there's enough stuff in the workshop right now to make some pretty good hero and ability concepts, actually. I'm really impressed by how far it's come and how far the workshop creations have come and the creators themselves. So yeah, really cool. May as well has cold snap. So uh, when you cry freeze ends, the enemies around you are instantly frozen, which is also an Overwatch 2 ability as well. I'm not quite sure if it works exactly like that in Overwatch 2, but either way, that's definitely from there. And you also have the snowball effect, which is continue to move after using cry freeze, rolling, knocking down enemies. Knockdown duration is so on so long, and your move speed's increased as well, and you deal a decent amount of damage. You can see it in action, it looks a bit silly, but this is mostly because you can't really create anything better than this in the workshop right now. It has to just look like this giant ball, because you can only really create these sort of energy balls of different colors, and the beams in the workshop. You can't really create many other effects. The only other effects you can make are just kind of based around those two. 
And moving on, we have Lucio who has power skating, which is the coolest one I thought at least. Sound waves damage significantly increased based on your movement speed. You get a little damage indicator on screen as well, so when you use your right click or your boop as Lucio, it deals that damage and it's based on how fast you're going. I think that's a really cool idea to make that ability a bit more useful in just you know, a damage perspective rather than just knocking people off the map. So I thought that was pretty neat. And Tracer is a pretty cool one as well. Vortex enemies are pulled toward the point of recall and snared becomes slowed down afterwards. And this ability I can see a lot of potential with. I would love to see more abilities in Overwatch that are kind of utility like this, that don't necessarily just kill or deal a bunch of damage in one go, but rather are cool combo potential abilities like this that are on a somewhat lower cooldown than let's say a full on ultimate, you know. This is kind of like a very simple Saria Graviton surge that you can use on a lower cooldown, but you need to really coordinate and do well to get any sort of value out of it. And I think it would be interesting to see abilities like this in Overwatch, the PvP version as well, and not just in PvE that will be coming up, of course. Mercy also had a pretty just ridiculous version of the Valkyrie ultimate. It was called Weakening. While using Valkyrie, all enemies deal less damage and take more damage. So enemies damage dealt minus 30% and enemies damage received plus 20%. And this is another cool idea to make Mercy a little bit more sort of like a battle Mercy, I guess you could say. But personally, I wouldn't really say that this is a great ability to show off in the workshop just because it's only really damage modifiers, but I think the concept is cool, so I at least wanted to show it off, even though it looks a bit silly with this beam coming out of Mercy and Mercy just flying around and just shooting people. But either way, massive thanks to Bonkorn for creating all of this. It's super well made and I absolutely love this. I haven't really seen this getting that much attention either, so I would love to direct you to the Elo Hell workshop page from which you can find everything, including the code of course, but it's also going to be on screen and you can check out this person's YouTube videos on this as well and on top of that the discord so yeah really cool stuff and finally we have a pretty cool hero concept so this is a full-on hero concept kind of it's made with Brigitte as the base but I wanted to show off one ability in particular so I'm gonna go through the other ones a little bit quicker this is from Gerber on the Elohel workshop page who also has a YouTube channel with this video showing off the character that video's only got 218 views so I want to link to that in maybe the top comment or the description so you guys can go and check that out because I'd love to show some love to this person's own YouTube channel. I thought this was actually pretty neat as you had sort of Moira style left click and right click or primary and secondary fire where you could add more and more anti-heal for example with the primary you added 3% per hit stacking up to 50% anti-heal meaning that any healing abilities for the enemy would be halved and then the second one does more healing the closer you are to your ally so it kind of does a splash damage of 20 and I thought those things were just nice little things that were kind of thrown on top of this other very cool concept which has to do with a sort of recall style ability to an ally. So the ability two is the rescue hook. So you can hook an ally for four seconds. If the ally presses interact within four seconds, they will be brought to you. And they will also gain a hundred health when doing that. I think that's a really cool concept. I think we have some similar stuff in like Dota 2, for example, with IO, how the Wisp there or IO is kind of like a support character in a very like connected to the carry type of way and that would be really awesome to see in Overwatch. I'm not sure if it would kind of break the game in a way and I imagine someone like Doomfist having this on them would be really annoying. Imagine if Doomfist could use all of his cooldowns and then after that he just uses interact with this other hero and then he gets a free escape as well. Like he doesn't even have to save an ability for that. Would be pretty crazy but yeah I like it. I really wanted to highlight the rescue hook there so thanks to Gerber for making this really cool concept. He's also made another hero in here called blaze so if you want to check out the workshop code then you can put that in it's going to be the same one on screen and you will have brigitte and soldier in that you choose from and you can sort of explore these abilities on your own so yeah definitely recommend checking out all the codes that have been on screen throughout this video workshop creators do a lot of work and it's quite a bit of work to even get simple stuff working so i'm really happy to see that there's still some cool workshop stuff coming out and i want to highlight more of that if you guys enjoyed this video then leave a like so i know to make more of this stuff whenever there is things to cover. If you have any workshop stuff like this, especially abilities and hero concepts like that, I love checking that out. So send that to our email. You can find it in our about section of the channel. And that's everything. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.